Have you ever considered becoming a cybersecurity consultant? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an overview of what some of the security consulting professional services are. Come on, let's talk about it. Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And today we're gonna to be talking about cybersecurity consulting services and the day-to-day -day activities that we do. I am a cybersecurity consultant. Um, specifically, I'm a cybersecurity consulting manager. I more focus in on industrial cybersecurity or ICS and OT cybersecurity. So I have a team of individuals that report to me, but also I work as a technical resource for many types of cybersecurity services where incident response or pen testing, so offensive and the defensive side. So I actually did a video about cybersecurity consulting last year that I want you all to take a look at and I go over what a cybersecurity consultant is. But today we're gonna to be talking about the services, the professional services that we do, and also what some of the day-to-day -day tasks look like. Starting off first, one thing that you can think about is, hey, in the news cycles, you always see these organizations getting hacked. They're getting hacked, they're getting hacked, and they're getting hacked. And one thing that happens is that in many cases, companies do not have the cybersecurity resources internal to their organization in order to deal with the latest threats from outside. So in many cases, they will bring in a cybersecurity consulting firm in order to help them with their biggest cybersecurity problems so that their business is not interrupted. Their cybersecurity services comes into play. One of them, like I mentioned before, when companies get hacked, many times they have internal resources like SOC analysts, SOC engineers, and SOC leads. Security Operations Center is what SOC stands for. And these are individuals and, and resources that are internal to a company that are typically able to detect when the bad happens. But companies will bring in an incident response uh, consulting organization in order to deal with the incident from beginning to end, from detection all the way into bringing things back into service. So some of the uh, tasks would be to, hey, bring in all the resources for the company to be able to understand how did the bad guys get in or the initial attack vector. They'll also be able to help the company in order to understand, hey, how to get the bad guys out. They'll also help companies clean up all of the different environments where they might remove malware. They might go ahead and help them with ransomware negotiations. But they're also doing things like with communications. They're communicating the technical things that's happening during the incident to the leadership of the organization so that they're able to make better informed decision. I mean, it's just a wide range of incident response services that happen for organizations or cybersecurity consultants. The second one I want to talk about is that of penetration testing. That's one, right, that a lot of people like to do when they talk about. For a lot of companies, they don't do their own internal penetration testing. They'll hire a cybersecurity consulting firm in order to come from the outside, right, as a, a, a party that is impartial, that can help to test their environment, to find the vulnerabilities, to find the bad before the bad guys find it. So it's pretty much like companies are able to sign the paper to say, I am giving you all permission to hack our environment. That's another cybersecurity consulting service. So that's one thing that's very interesting. And I've done several of these, right? We'll spin up uh, Kali Linux and different tools within Kali Linux, like Nmap and Wireshark, or we even use things like um, Bloodhound or um, Impactage and all different types of cybersecurity consulting tools, not necessarily consulting tools, but cybersecurity offensive tools in order to test a company's vulnerabilities to make sure that we find them and that we'll give them a report to say, hey, these were your holes, these were your gaps, here, go ahead and fix these. And we give them even remediation steps for the issues that we found in their environment so that they can be better secure against the outside adversaries. And another one would be that of a overview of a cybersecurity program. Sometimes it's not always technical services that cybersecurity consultants do, but they'll come in and speak to business leaders that are responsible for cybersecurity for the company and be able to go through things like documentation, checking out their incident response plan, giving recommendations for industry standards and policies and frameworks so that it can be more from a strategic perspective than more of a procedural pers perspective. Might give a company a strategy, a cybersecurity defense in depth strategy to say, hey, these are the different controls that you need to implement. They're based upon this particular industry standard and that will help you come 
closer to what your cybersecurity defensive stance needs to be for your company. So sometimes consultants will come in and do some type of overview or evaluation of what the cybersecurity program is at a company and then help them get to a better secure state or increasing their cybersecurity hygiene or cyber hygiene. So again, thank you. Hopefully I demystified some of what those cybersecurity consulting services are, but also what some of the day-to-day -day activities are. A lot of times it is just a lot of meetings and presentations, but you can really get into depth and really get face to face with the customer and what the current cybersecurity issues are out there for businesses. Thank you all for coming through. And this is Struggle Security, where hopefully I alleviated one of your struggles here on this channel. Come back again for more and more of this type of content. Thanks.